When I say fiber, what's the first thing that popped in your mind? Gut health, or maybe you imagine a bowl of crunchy cereal or a colorful plate of fruits and vegetables. Today, let's explore the dynamic duo of fiber, soluble and insoluble fiber. We'll learn about why they're both important for our health. Let's begin with soluble fiber. As its name implies, soluble fiber is soluble in water. When mixed with water, it forms a gel-like substance and swells. The gel-like nature of soluble fiber adds bulk to the stool and promotes regular bowel movements. It can alleviate constipation by softening the stool and making it easier to pass. Additionally, soluble fiber acts as a prebiotic, providing nourishment for beneficial gut bacteria, which helps maintain a healthy gut microbiome. Besides digestive health, Soluble fiber also moderates blood glucose levels and lowers cholesterol. Soluble fiber helps to regulate blood sugar levels by slowing down digestion and it improves cholesterol by acting as a sponge to trap cholesterol and preventing its absorption into the bloodstream. This can lead to a reduction in LDL cholesterol or the bad cholesterol levels, lowering the risk of heart disease and improving cardiovascular health. Some foods that are rich in soluble fibers include beans, peas, lentils, oatmeal, nuts and seeds, apples, pears, strawberries, and blueberries. Now, what about insoluble fiber? Insoluble fiber does not absorb or dissolve in water. It passes through our digestive system and close to its original form. Insoluble fiber adds bulk to the stool and acts as a natural cleanser for the digestive system. It helps prevent digestive issues by promoting healthy bowel movements and preventing the risk of bowel diseases and cancers. Insoluble fiber also helps with weight loss since they tend to be lower in calories and can provide a feeling of fullness. Some foods that are rich in insoluble fibers include whole grains, barley, nuts and seeds, cucumbers, zucchini, green beans, dark leafy vegetables, raisins, grapes, and more. How about the recommended daily intake? The Institute of Medicine recommends adults under 50 years old get around 38 grams of fiber for men and 25 grams for women. If you're over 50, aim for 30 grams for men and 21 grams for women. So think for a moment, are you meeting your needs if your usual fiber intake is low, keep in mind that it's important to increase your fiber intake gradually to give your body time to adjust. Sudden changes can cause digestive discomfort, so it's best to make adjustments slowly over time. I hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, health is wealth and consistency is key. This is Yuan with I Help Unify Care, and I'll see you next time. I hope you like this video. Go ahead and scroll through our website or our Unified Care app for more information about chronic conditions, vitals monitoring, and general nutrition and wellness. See you again soon!